Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making some curry cascadu and today's video is sponsored by All From One Supplier. They supplied me with the cascadu for this recipe and also with the green seasoning that you'll be seeing me using later on in the video. They are your supplier for everything Caribbean. So let's jump straight into this recipe. Let me show you how easy this one is to make. And to order from them, you simply go on their website and place your orders. We're going to start by making a stuffing with chopped tomatoes, pimento peppers, onions, chopped fresh bandania or culantro, in goes scallions chopped, and I'm flavoring it with some mango kuchula. Now my mother-in-law puts mango kuchula, I'm following her recipe, sometimes she even grates a green mango in here. So I didn't have any mango on hand, so I used the mango kuchula and it did does add so much flavor to this stuffing. So next we're going to stuff the fish. My husband went ahead and helped me stuff most of them. And all you have to do is go ahead and take your stuffing and push it into the cavity once your fish is cleaned. And if you guys would like to see how to clean the cascadoo, I will link it in a video as an end card for you all because I don't like to clean it, so my mother-in-law helped me clean it. And we already have a video on that, so I'll share that with you. And you just stuff your cascadoo. Now, this is what we use to stuff it, but if you use something else, by all means, use what you would like. And once you finish stuffed it, I'm just going to season lightly with some salt because hubby didn't add any salt when he was stuffing it. And we're going to place a pot on a medium heat. I'm using my big green egg. It is a grill. You can also do this on your stove. We're adding in oil. Once the oil starts to heat up, we're going to add in some whole jira seeds or cumin seeds and some fenugreek or meaty seeds. You guys know I cook with this a lot because it adds so much flavor when you're cooking. Now to this, once it gets light brown in color, we're going to go ahead with some curry leaves. Be careful because those pop and you can get burned when it splatters. In goes some pudina and some chopped onions, chopped pimento peppers, some fine thyme, scallions chopped. And we're just going to saute this until it has a light brown color. We want to soften all of those aromatics. And then we'll go in with some minced garlic. I add the garlic now because I don't want the garlic to burn while the onion is browning. Because the garlic will burn faster than the onion browns. So just allow this to cook for about 40 seconds. The garlic is finely minced so it's not going to take very long. And now I'm going to go in with my curry powder. Now I'm using 2 tablespoons of mild and 2 tablespoons of duck curry or goat curry. You can use all mild or you can use all duck or all goat depending on your personal preference. Now let that toast for about 40 seconds until it feels grainy. And then add in water. You don't want the curry to burn so make sure you have your heat on low. And add that water and allow that curry to cook until it starts to separate. The oil starts separating. Now I'm going to go in with a green seasoning that was provided by All From One Supplier. This is great for seasoning fish and seafood. I'm going in with a chopped tomato and we're just going to mix everything in and allow the curry to continue to cook for another minute. After which, this is what it would look like. You would see the oil start separating from the curry so you'll know that it's ready. Just give it a mix, make sure it's not sticking. And next we're going to go in with our seasoned fish. To this, I'm also adding on some seafood seasoning and some all-purpose seasoning. Now this is just my personal preference, how we like to cook it. If you don't like powdered seasonings, of course you can omit it. Add in one green mango chopped. I got one from my neighbor. Give that a mix and allow the curry to coat the fish really well. And allow it to bungee in the pot or fry up in the pot in that curry. If the flavor of the curry is going to intensify, it's going to lock, lock that flavor into the fish. And you're going to allow this to cook for about five minutes on a high heat. 
because when you're bungeeing you want it to be on a high heat or a medium high you can't bungee on a low low heat now once it starts to stick add in some water you want enough water to cover the cascadoo and then you just nestle in the fish make sure it's properly covered it doesn't have to egg cover cover perfectly but this is just how i would like it so bring this up to a boil and add in some peas now these peas have been pre-boiled um i, lo I love to pre-boil the peas i just don't love the taste of the peas when it's raw so i always pre-boil it and have it in my freezer and now we just allow this to cook until the fish is done and you'll know when the fish is done when the outer armor of the fish those um that hard shell on the outside starts to fall apart slightly um this cooked for 40 minutes if the fish is small it can take around 20 minutes if you overcook the fish and all of that armor falls off you're gonna have a lot of bones in your curry so you just want to cook it until when you see this the tail starts to fall off you'll know okay it's ready and then you'll taste and adjust your salt and then it's ready to be served now if you like you can add some coconut milk to this also all from one supplier also sells cooked tassa in a 16 ounce container that sells for $19 so to find out the price current price for the hassa or cascadu please visit their website check out their curry boxes with pre-cooked food all of their doubles boxes their roti boxes everything is being cooked and delivered to the comfort of your home thank you so much to all from one supplier for sponsoring today's video check their website to find out more and all of the amazing products they provide for you